Hello and welcome to Hot Money Technicals on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is a show which gets you complete trap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I'm Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our experts then, Raja Venkatraman of Chart Advice along with Brijesh Party of Deal Money Securities and Amit Shah of India Bulls Ventures join me on the show. Many thanks to all of my guests for joining me. Let's begin with the first round of chart. Uh, Raja has the first chart and he has one on Phoenix Mill, no doubt uh, one of the best performing real estate stocks uh, as of now, uh, trading close to record highs. Uh, what makes you bullish on the counter? So, uh, what I've used uh, today is the Ichimoku setup. And uh, based on the Ichimoku setup, you can see here that the price had undergone a major consolidation over the last six months. Hmm. And now, uh, what uh, we are seeing is that the stock has steadily uh, tried to get out of this consolidation. And uh, what you can see here is a strong uh, bullish trend to the upside and a steady higher low being formed, which is a signal of some bullish intention being in play. Now, if you take a look at uh, the momentum indicator on the downside, mm -hmm. you can see here the uh, RSI was trying to cross above 60 but was not successful. So, crossing above 60 is a signal of some bullish play in progress. And what has happened here is the price has not only crossed 60, it has now crossed even the 70 levels, which uh, indicates a strong bullish potential in play. Now, if you combine the price uh, action with the momentum, so let's take a look at the price action once again. What you are seeing here is based on the uh, Ichimoku setup. This is called as a leading indicator, which says that the trend is now indicating some strong move to the upside. And you can see here that it had already flashed a buy somewhere in the month of September, but uh, now the action began somewhere towards the end of October. And you can see a steady higher move to the upside and long bullish candle formation actually projected it to be a buy candidate for today. Okay, buy candidate. What's the What's the ideal strategy one should form? It's at 835 right now. Yeah, at the time of uh, recommendation, it was already around 800 and based on yesterday's closing. So, one could trade at uh, current levels, use declines towards uh, 770 uh, levels to buy into. Place a stop loss below 750 for an upside towards 880 and 925. 925. And this will be, uh, the moves for the past few days have been strong. You Correct. think this would be a fast mover? It won't be a fast mover, but yes, you can take it as a positional play. Okay, thanks so much for that. The second round begins uh, with a chart by Raja on Deepak Nitrite. Uh, Deepak Nitrite trading at a fresh 52-week high. The phenol play uh, coming into play and, and it's doing really well for itself. Let's have the chart uh, and let's see what uh, recommendation that uh, Raja can give at, at almost 380. Uh, from 250, it's managed to rally all the way to 3, 380 almost. Uh, uh, what's your sense? What should one yeah, do? So, if you again uh, take a look at the stock, Ever since uh, 2018, the stock had been in a nice consolidation. And what has been a uh, prominent feature in the stock is continuous rounding pattern, which is a signal of steady bullishness being maintained. And now what has happened is, as it moved higher, there were this bullishness which continued to extend. And here also the prices are making a higher base, mm. which is a signaling of steady buying interest coming in at every possible decline. So this decline which emerged and over the last almost uh, the year, the stock has been moving in this uh, channel formation. I have used a tool called a Spitfork, which is based on the median line. And you can see here, the median line has resisted the prices, which on the price channel. Yeah. So, it has continued to resist and even over the last few weeks, it has been resisting it. But then today, we are finding that a strong closing, yeah. which is emerging above the median line, suggests that there could be some potential move to the upside. And that's why this was chosen as a buy opportunity. This is a weekly chart, right? Yeah, this is a weekly chart. And you can see here, even on the uh, lower panel, I have used the ADX DMI as a momentum indicator. And based on this momentum indicator, we find that the green line, which is the positive DI line, which is actually inching higher, which suggests that uh, there is a strong bullish play in progress. And again, combination of price and momentum projects a strong price action in the coming days. Okay, so it's at uh, 380 currently. What's the ideal strategy? Yeah, one could look to buy at current levels, use uh, dips towards say 350 as a buying opportunity, place a stop loss below 325 for an upside towards 440. 